Hello guys and welcome to Provision Wrestling YouTube channel. Today I am going to play an invasion episode with SGT Slaughter vs Seth Rollins. In the second match, I will take Nikki Bella vs Becky Lynch. One of the most beloved babyface wrestlers of the 1980s, SGT Slaughter made a successful and controversial heel turn in 1990 when he started portraying the character of an Iraqi sympathizer, doing so during the first Gulf War. Appearing on the WWE Network's Table for Three show, Slaughter credited WWE Chairman Vince McMahon with coming up with the concept of the heel character. Speaking with Nikolai Volpoff and Jim Dubhin on a table for three episode called WWE Superpowers, Slaughter recalled that McMahon pitched the idea to him after Slaughter's contract with Hasbro and Guy Joe expired in 1990. Slaughter had left WWE in 1985 over a dispute with the promotion, which, at the time would not allow Slaughter to sign a contract with the action figure line. Accepting the job over the protests of his wife, Slaughter noted that the character became so hated by fans that he started receiving death threats after defeating Ultimate Warrior to win the WWF World title at the 1991 Royal Rumble. Rollins also won the 2014 Money in the Bank ladder match, the 2015 Slammy Award for Superstar of the Year, and the 2019 Royal Rumble match. He is overall 9 time Slammy Award winner. All totaled, he has won 16 championships in WWE with all but one on the main roster. He was one of the major elements of WWE's reality era and remains a central fixture in its new era. After leaving The Shield in 2014, he appeared for the longest televised match in WWE history, performing for 65 minutes whilst defeating Reigns and John Cena in the same night. He soon joined NWA Midwest and won the promotion's Tag Team Championship with Merrick Brave. The two retained the NWA Midwest Tag Team Championship against Ryan Boss and Danny Daniels, Brett Wayne and Hype Gotti and Jason Rain and Marco Cordova several times in early 2006. He briefly appeared in total non-stop action wrestling TNA and teamed with Jeff Luxon in a loss to the Latin American Exchange Homicide and Hernandez on Impact. In October 2006, a final battle in December after Black lost a number one contender match to Austin Aries Jacobs turned on him, and Black was then attacked by Aries. At full circle, Black was given an untitled match against then row world champion Nigel McGuinness on January 16, 2009, where Black was victorious. The following night, Black faced McGuinness in a title match, which ended in a time limit draw. On June 26, at Violent Tendencies, Black defeated Jimmy Jacobs in a steel cage match to end their feud. In September 2009, Black took a hiatus after receiving surgery on his neck. On October 10, Black defeated Kenny King in a first round match and then Claudio Castagnoli, Colt Cavana, Delirious, Chris Hero, and Roderick Strong in the finals to win the 2009 Survival of the Fittest tournament, earning him a Row World Championship match. On December 19, at Final Battle, Row's first live pay per view, Black wrestled then Row World Champion Austin Aries to a 60 minute time limit draw. Hope you enjoy this match and please don't forget to subscribe. Thank <laughs> you.